Hello everybody and welcome back to Dragon Age Veilguard where I shouldn't maybe fling myself around. But we are gonna go chit chat with everybody, at least pop, pop in. I think Davin's the only one who has something that he would like from Oh my gosh, a sign! Look at you in here! He's so cute! This is such a cozy spot. Carving monsters, huh? Didn't figure you for an artist. This? It's by necessity. If you know your enemy, their weak spots, uh -huh. maybe you live another day. Yeah, uh-huh. Well, when the army of miniature monsters invade, we'll know how to beat them. Size is nothing. A Rygar can ruin your day with one bite. The poison swells your brain. I've never heard of that. Oh, that could explain Solus. What? <laughs> Standard bestiaries are always some mage drawing things they've never seen, taking the piss out of it. They don't understand how when the hunt ends and you come nose to nose with an ogre, someone's going to die. So I'm making the real Monster Hunter manual. Interesting. What do you, like, so is he trying to, like, draw it? Or... What? That's such a fun idea, honestly, to make a bestiary. Yeah, a lot of them are written by like more scholarly sorts, right? But to have like an actual monster hunter or like a hunter of some sort, like uh, being like, no, here's how it actually is because I've done it myself. You know what I mean? That's a really good idea. Who are you doing it for? Balmor, that imbecile in Tevinter. Lecturing on things he doesn't know about. Oh. And Ludric over in Ravane thinks taking a rock wraith down with a lucky shot makes him a champion. <laughs> yeah, Ludric and his ego. <laughs> you ever met Ludric? <laughs> well. Because he's been dead 300 years. Yeah. Living off the legend of one fluke era. I figured. Oh. Now I just wanted to make you feel better. <laughs> <laughs> My reward is showing these idiots how it's done. That is so funny. She's like, no, straight up. I just wanted to. Yeah, it's just like I was trying to be like, yeah. <laughs> it seems like he's and he talks about how like the Dalish, right, have like the histories and like how he wants to like make history. Right. So putting himself down in like making a manual like that, making a beast, Jerry would put him on like the shelves of many people. You know, even science types would be interested to know. Um, just spell my name right. I, <laughs> I haven't decided to do the romance yet. I just met Tosh. Like, I don't know. Uh -huh. I hope it doesn't, like, happen too fast, honestly. Like, I'm like, oh, I don't have to pick anybody too soon. I'm enjoying the, I'm enjoying the chase, I guess. Um, but, uh, I'm enjoying getting to know people is what, I, is what it is. Um. What was I thinking? Oh, but he's used to, like, having to compete, essentially, against these legends, against, like, the written word, and it's, like, difficult to compete against somebody who's dead, you know what I mean? But, like, the only way to do that is to make sure your name gets put up on those legends, too, kind of, you know? Alright, 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 let's see, let's see. I like a hunt with some challenge to it. What's your quarry? <laughs> I'm thinking... We just... A Grey Warden. Maybe an elf. Maybe both. We're just, I can't decide. We're just gonna say that it. Too much to handle. <laughs> it's best if you keep them guessing. I well, didn't. You'll need special bait to lure that sort out. It doesn't just fall for anything. <laughs> Noted. So, where's the green color in all this? Can't carve it till I know what it is. Hmm. You want a piece of the howler boy? Is he ready? Was I ready the first time I fought a herlock? Well, you're still alive. Yeah. I got my ass handed to me. Broke four ribs and cracked my jaw. He's a baby. And I got back up and drove a blade through its skull. In this line of work, Asan and I are only as strong as the quarry we hunt. Yeah, but he's a baby. If anything happens to Asan, I will, I will destroy everybody in this room and then myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's the cutest thing ever. Um... I mean, Daffer knows what he's doing with himself, so I don't want to question that. But it's like, ugh, and I don't want to like question him too much on the raising of a baby griffin. Like, nobody likes that. But Asan is very capable too. He's born to hunt, 
anyway, that was so funny. Like, I want to keep on guessing. I'm like, you just straight up, you just straight up said it. Like, there's no guess. There was no guessing there. There was no subtlety there. But it wasn't, like, too pushy either, you know? Like, when you're trying to romance Iron Bull in Inquisition, you're, like, throwing yourself at him. And he's, like, a brick wall. Like, he does not, like, he does not even, like, really acknowledge that you're doing it until, like, at one point where he's like, hey, like, I, I know that you're you're telling me these things. He's like, and I don't know if you can handle the bull, you know? And then you, it was just really funny, though. But, like, I like that it's a bit more organic. I don't know, like, more uh, realistic. I don't know. Even I would not do that. <laughs> That's too, too bold. But it's fun to, it's fun to see. Makes sense. He'll learn to fight by fighting. I don't know another way. Out there in the world, you sink or swim. Can a half lion, half eagle swim? <laughs> don't know. Azan? You swim? Which half was that? Yeah, yeah. Search me. Both halves share the same stomach. <laughs> right. I'll see you around. Are you teaching him to poop over the edge? Because that would be good. I think everybody approves after you talk to them for the most part, as long as I guess it was a positive conversation. Just as like, a, oh, thanks for checking in. You know, I've noticed at the end of every conversation, like they'll sometimes approve during a conversation, but at the very end, they usually approve also. So that's nice. Um, so I still don't know why he'd want to be making, like if he's riding a bestiary, why would you carve it? Um, but I feel like this is probably like a, like an artistic thing too. Like I don't know, it's it's a calm out. Woodworking and like carving has always been something that people do, like not only for like to build things that they need it, like you know in the evenings, but it's a, it's a nice way to relax. But I think if he's doing it to like, I don't know, like help uh, identify parts on an enemy, you know what I mean? Like I can see why he'd do it like a three D model of it, but other people aren't necessarily gonna see it. If you're making a written bestiary, you know what I mean? And I don't think anyone's necessarily gonna buy a bunch of minis, like a bestiary minis. I don't know, maybe they would. <laughs> it's really beautiful. Oh, I like this touch that he's uh, he's got curtains over here on this side for where his bed is. So like, I mean, he's already kind of tucked away, but like, it also kind of blocks like the di any direct light coming in through there. Although you'd think you'd maybe put it here, but maybe it's harder to hang. Right there. This is such a nice spot. I like this spot a lot. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The view is nice on both counts. <laughs> oh! Food inventory. Uh-oh. What did I just do? Imbalar's handwriting. Things we have from Solus. Thank you, Solus, for the salted meat, a uh, large quantity of raisins, and several jars of honey. So, noted. Solus did not like raisins. And, um, nobody else did <laughs> in the in the hall. But there's not, not a holla. Uh, I guess things could just preserve indefinitely here. I don't know if I would touch something from like 2,000 years ago though. From us, fresh meat, all, several varieties of cheese, nev, flour, me, salt, me, fresh rolled noodles, harding, some kind of paste made out of peppers and oil, harding, cask of fresh wine, all, large tub of coffee beans, all, small jars of some very expensive coffee beans, Oconus, bread and sticks of cheese, tosh, animal biscuits, davern, fresh bananas, emmerich, fresh bread, me, tub of butter, me. Things we need, fresh milk, any, apples, ask emmerich, more cooking oil, chocolate, rook, wine for book club. I want to be a part of book club so bad. Let me be a part of book club and I get chocolate for me. I'm going to scream. Everybody is so nice. Everybody is so great. Don't mind me. If you're looking for the apples, I put them in the kitchen. Apples! I was looking for you, actually. You have a job for me? No. <laughs> I was just wondering if you were okay in here. We could get you a room. Uh, the lighthouse just makes more... It's easy to trap Spide in here. And there's snacks. And no view of the Fade. I'm good, Harley. 
Ah, okay, that explains it a bit more. Because, like, again, an actual assassin, I think, would want to have several means of ingress and egress. At least three out of a room, out of any situation. But if he's worried about spite specifically, he could bar himself in here. And with the stone walls and stuff, it's potentially harder to hear if he's having, like, when he's sleeping and spite maybe makes trouble. Um, but also, he apparently just really dislikes the, seeing the fade floating around, so maybe he feels more grounded in here. Interesting. Also, it's weird. I think it's weird to like walk into such a closed room when like two people are in there. I'm like, I don't want to interrupt anything. You know what I mean? I can't believe it. We're meeting after all those letters. <laughs> it's an honor, Professor Emmerich. Um, what should I call you? I mean, with everything you've done, it feels strange to just call you Emmerich. Emmerich is fine, please. We're not in a classroom after all. Far less predictable. Okay. Emmerich. Right. I might call you Professor Emmerich sometimes. The, there's so he's so nice too. Like he could have been so uppity or like so broody, and it's just so nice to have just like the, a gentleman necromancer. Like I'm just actually really enjoying that. Oh, such fun characters, such fun decor, and I finally got my house fully decked out and fixed. Also, in that one picture, I don't think the lighthouse has been lit up before, but now the lighthouse was lit up, at least in the, like, load screen or something. Uh, which I didn't even think about it, why it was called lighthouse, and, but potentially it has, like, a beacon type thing up top. Maybe that's what keeps the Evaneurs away, or maybe that's what calls people, lighthouses are to call in, like, a, a port in the storm, right? It's for safety, like, like, be like, oh yes, you're safe here, you know? Um... Maybe that's why it just has that name. Maybe it doesn't actually like light up anything or anything, you know? It's just called a lighthouse to be like a port in the storm, you know? A safe place. Um, I think I've done everything I want to. So now, oh, oh, ah, we are going to be getting into stuff that's going to be fun for me. Maybe not so much fun uh, for everyone else, but I'm going to go fight some stuff. Oh, now we have the update on this one, right? Where it was like, it only gave me two. And I was like, did I destroy the one already in one of the places? Where I was like, ah, uh, but now we have Hosberg open. So Hosberg is on the list. I think, I think. The Haunting. Stop or Sleepless Spirit. This is an Arlathan forest, but I think this is the one from the Mornwatch, technically. I haven't, done, I haven't done anything for the fade jumpers in a long time. I do have these faction quests too. But I, which one did I, there was a, there was a gate that I wanted to do. It's so nice to have the full squad too. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna yeet myself down. Oh, I, whoa, okay, okay. Calm down. Um... Go into the crossroads so I can see what door it is I want to open. Change. Because I wanted to bring Nev and Taj. I thought they'd, they'd be a fun squad. Like, just um, for dialogue purposes. Oh, God. I didn't even take a chance to look at them for a second. But like the, out of the corner of my eye, I was like, oh. <laughs> Okay, so the one that I want to unlock, I think, is this one. To get to these two memories for Solus. Or wait, no. This one. This memory of Solus, but this... There's a corruption thing over there. Um... If it's going to be a dark spawn thing... Then I should probably bring Davrin. I would like to bring Davrin and Tash, Tash, but it, that's so many warriors. See? We're all three different warriors, though, technically. Hmm, we'll see how it goes. So, 
your mom wanted you to lay low, and now you're with us. And because I wanted to be here. <laughs> then it looks God. like you pleased everyone. Isn't that novel? Yep. It's great. <laughs> she almost she kind of gives me the impression of being really young. So a part of me is like, ooh, maybe like, oh, uh, she's a little young, you know. But um. Oh my gosh, my armor looks so good. I love this very much. Okay. We pleased everyone then. I do want to take Nev out also and do some Docktown stuff. Just so we can... I don't know, help in Manrathis. Like, show that we haven't, like, forgotten it. You know, there's several missions we can do for them, so... Let's see. Oh, yeah, and they have more stuff for me here. Yeah. I bolstered guards along the ridge. We've got the high ground out of that. Oh, wow, crazy. Morgan isn't here. Your work. Strive talked about you. Yeah, I need your help. that's an I. I just realized I just... Oh, okay, it's like, they have the same name, but this is Strive, and then we have Spite. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. What, what do you need? What do you need? I hate being in Arlathan. I don't hate it. It doesn't run very well Can here. Can you help? There are veil jumpers in the forest who have been gone too long. <laughs> they were searching for relics. With the recent troubles, they could use a protective escort to bring those relics back to camp. I'll start the search. And I'll stay here, in case someone shows up. Wow, that's crazy that you're the one who's going to stay behind. I'm sharp out there. Can't afford to lose any more veil jumpers. You know what I mean? It's like, oh yeah, I'll give you this quest about people I'm concerned about who I know personally, but I'll stay here just in case. It's like, I'd rather go out and look, you know? I will say, if this one, oh my gosh, if it's behind an area that I can't get to for some reason, I'm going to be very upset, and I'm not going to walk through this whole thing. The game just doesn't run very well in Arlathan. It's beautiful here, but it doesn't run very well here. And, um, although it does seem to be a little better, maybe they have actually changed it with the patch. Um, uh, what is it? Sometimes it's really difficult to get around in Arlathan. Like, I don't like how it, things are locked behind arbitrary gates that don't show up on the map. So it's like, I'm like, I don't know, can I get there? You know? Like, I opened, I was like, I opened this out there. That's incredible. Interesting. No source of water, so where's it come from? Well, me, the fade, or I don't know, but it sure looks cool. It sure looks cool. I'm glad that she points stuff out like that, honestly, because it's like, look at that. Um, but the source of water is right there. Like it's being, it looks like it's being pulled out there, and going up into the sky. I have no idea how to get over there. Yeah, I, I still haven't read the patch, but if one of the patches was, part of it was to fix this, it does seem better. I was having a real, I was like getting 30 frames if I was lucky. Hey, Manfred, how does it work? I'm sure Emrek would fill you in if you asked. They yeah, match! Yeah, but he'd add details. <laughs> the bare bones answer from the non-necromancer. <laughs> your parts. Put the skeleton together. Some fancy ritual later, and you've got a wisp inside, running the show. Manfred's a wisp? Like the ones at your desk? You could make a bunch of moving skeletons? Me? No. Not without some research I don't want to do. Don't worry, those wisps are staying wisps. Good. I bet you... well... She didn't grow up in the Kuhn, but Kinari, who grew up in the Kuhn, generally don't like magic. Um, so I, but I wonder, so I wonder if magic just makes her nervous, though. Hello? I do miss having the little red dots on my screen that would tell me... Yeah, I was like, he freaking went in behind me. I miss having the dots on my screen that were like, like on the mini-map, that were like, ooh, yep, enemy, you know? Still around. We haven't been over here yet. Or over there yet, I don't think. Tainted woods, that sounds ominous. 
It's like purple spirit butterflies and fireflies. It's really beautiful. It's really beautiful. Ghost of Tsushima. That's what it reminds me of. I mean, what's over? What's the? I mean, like, I I know we're like going over. We're supposed to go to the left, but like, you got this. There's, there's a building here, and those little fade blossoms. Oh. Cool. Look, there's a little Ben Harrell statue next to, to the Mythal statue. I'm so sad. I'm actually like, it's so cute. so cute. I don't know, tragic. It's so wonderful. I don't know. Like he was usually in association with her, and I just think that's really just wonderful. You know. Hearing the song of the, these parts is so. Odd. Wow, we are really close to like the palace? Question mark. It's up. Locked by what? Tell me your secrets. That one looks like it's locked behind like story accessibility. Maybe. How dare this game uh, meter out its lore? Oh, yes, I see that, but this, <gasps> nothing. I do like it though. One of the like elven trees, but in shrub form. <laughs> I anticipated th that at some point I'll be able to light this up and, and that will make a bridge. Oh my gosh. Hang on, let me see. The Mythal statue does have those horns. All right, they, they just look a, they looked a little more distinct on the statues that Tosh has, like just a little more obvious, you know. I do also think it's funny that once again we are like solving the blight by being like. Pit of dogs. Let's clear them out. What? Oh, gross. Um, like I feel like the warden is just like rolling in her like her sleep or whatever. You know what I mean? Like every time somebody's like, I'm gonna just beat up one tiny part of the blight, and I look here, she just like loses like a minute of her life. You know? Oh. Whoa! Okay. Oh, this is very good. Very good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very, very good. Oh, you get, like, sort of the spirit look there with those. The ground is not helping me with what I'm trying to do here. That's fine, though. That's fine. Oh, here we go. We got another one over there. Okay. Yep. No, this is cool. I actually don't know if anybody has any healing or anything I can use. Yeah. I revive. Oh, she will heal still. That's nice. Hang on. What is going on? Who is siphoning? Oh, what is this? I didn't even see this thing. It was actually so close. That was a tough one. God dang, I was so close to finishing him off. It really is annoying how they they just look at you. Like only. I that's that's rough, you know? Not enjoying that. realize I can switch my companions from right here. They are vulnerable to fire, so we'll keep Tosh and we'll bring Davrin. You two friends? Let's be friends. Giant dark spawn blah claw. Okay. I finally figured out <laughs> to not be an idiot and like awaken all the freaking orbs. Like I get to, to break off these orbs first. Not this one. Sorry, the um 
these other ones that were down here, you should clear these out before you do this guy. But we almost, I even almost messed that up, but somehow we managed. Let's see, before we wake him up, let's see what we got. Maybe it makes the guy weaker? I don't know. Hopefully it's not a dumb decision to be doing this. Little mythol statues. And then, again, it's a mythol. <laughs> Maybe the reason that um, Tosh has mythol statues in front of her is because mythol is the one who's associated, at least in my, according to my theory, more benignly associated with dragons. She didn't bind to dragons. She was just had a good like relationship with them somehow. Oh. Is that someone trying to steal an elven artifact? Bummer. What? what? Oh, perfect defense. Nearby enemies are pulled towards you. Why would I want that? I don't want that. Wait a second. Oh, okay, this is... Uh, okay, okay, okay. I was like, is this a weapon? It is not, but it does do the physical damage. Just a little less, but way more stagger. A fade touch bulwark. What does that look like? Oh, I do actually really like that. What did I have then? Mm, I'm gonna. Oh, I, I'll do it later, but I do like it. I do like the look of it, but this one matches my current armor setup. Sorry, my right leg is like not fitting under the. Real guy, I saw a thing for you over in the center. I swear I just ate like an hour ago, and I yet again hunger. This is the champion. Okay, I don't know. I think I was just following stuff, and then I did not just now realize that this was actually the champion door or the champion area. But I kind of figured. I got kind of figured because I was like, "Dang, this guy reminds me of the other one, and it's really tough and everything." Oh, there's something over here too. And where the the lords were. Further notes on a mystery substance. Is this Gillanon? Oh no, Bellara. From a scroll found in the ruins translated from Elven by Bellara. I fear something terrible has happened with Atrahel, through no fault of my own, of course. His strength continues unabated, but he has changed. He is different now, sharper, yet he speaks less than ever. I cannot properly disguise it, but when he does speak, I hear the voice of another presence joined with his. I fear confronting Atrahel, for the strength the substance has granted him may surpass even my own, but I cannot countenance a threat such as he has become. I must consider my options carefully. That does sound like Galenon. You know what I'm saying? Creepy, says Bellara. Yeah, no. Not wrong there. Ooh, I have my ultimate now. But I am gonna try to cheat a little. And see if I can't just, like, get this guy from up here. You know what I mean? Ranged. I wasn't sure if Tom would work. It's not gonna work on a dragon, I think. But it will work for now. Ooh. Two. I was like, did, I was like, did I give Tosh chances? I did. I could. Well, I was like, I could try to go up here, but. Whoa! Whoa! Jump. What? All clear. What? Let me jump off the balcony, please. This guy moves so fast. Oh, my third. Um, Good to go again. I was like, why can I not do my third shield throw thing or like charge up? It's because uh, I think the other shield had that bonus, and this one doesn't. Play. I didn't have another revive. I used it early in the fight. Why are we? Why is this so hard? This is so hard. 
I was doing so well at the beginning to... Oh my gosh, that was brutal. I think it only worked because, look at that, friggin' I'll collapse. Um, you guys, you guys good? Uh, <laughs> they were both down over the fire, I don't know. Only worked because Davrin and Tash have a taunt, I gave them a taunt ability and I just traded their taunts. So that it would get him off me. Can I have this? This is this cool. The way. Get out of there. You guys good? Yeah, they 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 have trauma because I made them do everything, and I might show some of it. But I was just like at range, like chucking my shield with the fully like the three um, boosts that I have, chucking it. All mother's cops. Eh. It's cool though. Yikes, let's go. Uh, I'm telling you guys, I'm just, I'm a warrior squad. Like, Baldur's Gate 3, my favorite setup was. Uh... So, Tosh. Oh, whoa. Dragon Hunter, this outfit. Yep. And you do monsters. Oh, yeah. Seems our work's going to overlap. No, it's not. I handle dragons. You kill monsters. And Dark Spawn. Dragons are monsters. What? No, dragons are natural. Been around longer than we have. Oh. Dark spawn and monsters are just Vashadon that came later. Fair enough. But I'll handle any arch demons we meet. <sighs> Fine. But I get to help. These two would get along so well. I mean, maybe there'd be... He's very competitive, is the thing. Davrin, out of all of them, like, he drags Lucanus into it, and it's really funny. But Davrin's very competitive. I mean, it, it, he's competing with, like, old, like, past days' glories, right? Like, it's just... But I think that's not, it's not a bad thing, necessarily. Like, he's just... Uh, that's just how he is, right? Like, that's... He... He's not proving himself, necessarily, to others, but he's proving to himself that he can take on anything kind of I think is how he sees the competitiveness right like and it's not like aggressive he's not like oh uh, like he's not like uh I don't know some guy who you know is making up for shortcomings by being aggressive and posturing you know he's just like he just likes to compete you know he likes to keep going like if he keeps if he doesn't keep pushing himself he doesn't really see you know what I mean like it's part of his whole like life motto purpose thing is that he has to push himself to greater and greater heights. And competition helps with that. Fight. What? No, I was busy contemplating and participating. So. Tough art. Mages are bad. We do not suffer mages to live. What do you even look like? With two or three of us, rather, being all of each other's okay. grill. Shocker to ever. Uh, it's difficult to see anything, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, my frames are bad again. But yeah, I don't know. It's just, he's just a competitive dude. Like, you know? Um, I'm not trying to, like, be, you know, necessarily, to, like, deconstruct it, but I can't help it. Anyway, her braid is so cool. I'm totally biased, though. Like, I just wish mine was that long. That's, she basically has the look I wish I had. Why? Oh, they're calling rocks. I'm 
Oh god, there was one right on my head. I cannot activate this. Okay. Oh, this is maybe the way to that um, central circle area. Why does this say there's a path here when there is clearly not? <sighs> My. Well, I'm hoping for this episode to like actually show opening that gate. I've been mm, probably fighting for like 40 minutes. Here those dark spawn. We'll keep an eye out for more. You're welcome. Anytime. Actually, not anytime. That guy sucked, but. With I oh yeah in Baldur's Gate my my go-to squad was the Warrior Girlies. I'm a paladin. What's a Carlax a barbarian? I shadow heart as a cleric. You know I was beefy-ish, and then uh, Lazelle and that with that squad, I dominated. It's nice to have a like you know it's nice to have ranged. But and like magic and stuff, but like I don't know. Sometimes you just need to get it done, you know. <laughs> we need to talk about Asan. What do you do now? It's what you did. You're not feeding him right. What are you talking about? That Griffin eats better than I do. He had steak last night. Mm -hmm. Yes. You're giving him too much meat. He needs more fiber. Oh. And what makes you an expert on Griffin dietary needs? His poop smells wrong. Never mind. Forget I asked. No, but she does. I mean, she mentions that she needs leafy greens. Apparently, fiber is fiber is an important part of her diet. But also, like I don't know, she's hunted dragons and stuff. Like she would know. But she probably it's probably from her own thing, where it's like you can't eat too much meat. Like you need to have fiber. It helps. Be ready. No, I'm not. I'm not doing that. No, I don't want to do that either. Why do I have to fight guys every time? I don't want to fight guys every time. That's how you do it, Tosh. That's how you do it, Tosh. One for all. Finally, can unlock one of these things. Yay! Yay for me. Look at that. Funny to think elves lived here once. Actual cities. Right in the fade. Hmm. The empty forest. This place used to be full of spirits who flocked to Tullus's cause. When his ritual went wrong, when everything went wrong, he vanished and the spirits stopped coming. Where are you, my friend? You stopped the Evanures but broke the world. Please tell me you didn't leave me to fix all this alone. <laughs> He did, Felison. I hope I hope in this version Bioware didn't make Solus kill Felison. I only say that as like it happened. In, I, it strongly implied that it happened in one of the books. Um, but yeah, it's uh, who knows? I don't actually know. And it's been a long time since I read the book, so I think they were like they were implying it, but leaving it open. And it's like, oh no, it wasn't Solus. It was somebody else. And, but Felison did die, but it was funny because I always pictured him looking more like Abelos uh, from Inquisition, when you go to the Temple of Mythal, one of the ancient elves who's still alive from the ancient times. Um, he, looks, he looks different. He's got the same armor, but uh, he does look different, but I like the look. Um, they can't all just look like Abelos, you know? <laughs> so it's cool. It's cool to see, and I hope I hope is okay! <laughs> But thank you all for joining me. I can't, sorry, I don't know. I can't even, I just really liked him in the books, you know, in, in the book anyway. And I just remember being like, like watching him kind of like have a little character arc in the book. And I also, he was like mysterious and stuff. Like, I don't know, I just liked him a lot. And then like the ending happened and I was like, no, no. But anyway, I hope he's all right, thriving. <laughs> okay, Tosh, I can't believe I'm asking this, but what's wrong with Hassan's spore? <laughs> They're watery and smell sour. He needs fiber to soak up water and keep his gut clean. And you know how griffin spore should smell because... 
I've smelled it in dragons who got injured and couldn't eat right. Huh. Say you're right. What would you give them? Apples? Carrots? Sweet potatoes? Maybe pumpkin? Hassan goes for meat and ginger wart truffles. Doesn't matter how hard I try, he doesn't like vegetables. Nobody likes vegetables. He's still gotta eat it. <laughs> anyway, hello everybody, and welcome back to Dragon Age Veilguard, where I was kind of still getting set up. Um, but yeah, this is adorable and very cute to uh, have that conversation continue. Oh, my robe looks so good. My my armor, my robe armor. I love it so much. It's so good. Oh, I'm gonna have to take some pictures. Oh, look! He looks like Davern's like, yeah, look at that hottie. <laughs> he thinks I can't see him, but I can. There. Now I'll just... Well. As adorable as he is, let's... There you go, stone. Oh, it's so cool looking. I mean, the environment is just gorgeous by itself, but like, I know it's not like necessarily the most thrilling, but like, I think it looks really good. I'm so happy. We don't need an ex, we don't need like a super crazy background with this armor. Takes the front stage. Is that the lighthouse? Is it beaming? I think that's the lighthouse. I don't think it was beaming before. I love this game. It's so beautiful. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh wait, let's make sure everything is working. All right, I was going to try I, as a treat because I worked really hard. I was gonna go into here. Why did it? Why did it shoot me all the way over here? I've noticed that, it, like, it won't save you in the area that you're in, like, wherever you're at. Like, if you save, you come back, and it puts you at, like, the nearest beacon. And, and I'm like, why? Why couldn't you just put me right there, where I left, you know? Where I deliberately wanted to be, you know? Let's track some of this corruption first on our way to see Solus. Do you want to look at something? Oh, oh, it looks like there's probably like a path here. Maybe if I turn that Solus to face this one. Because that one's a, yes, I see, because that one is facing over there, I don't know if there's another solo statue over there, but there's a bridge there. It's like one of the ones that should kind of fade in and out, you know? Um, so yeah. These appear to be bridge-making things, so I won't mess with it. Yeah, they're facing each other. Yep, yep. My theory. I'm smart. <laughs> I'm... Those statuettes. Oh. The memory fragments. Oh, Tom left it alone. Huh. Either they didn't see it, or they're afraid of it, or... Well, I don't know... What? This is not... on the list, necessarily. Like, on right here, you know? And this is what we usually pick up after a memory's done. Not at the beginning? Oh, I realized at the, at the very last second, this is why they left it alone. Meh. <laughs> That's so cool! Look at her go! What?! Why?! What?! <laughs> why?! Okay, hang on. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, don't throw me off the edge and go away. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're darn tootin'. I, I can't worry about the at range right now. 
did nothing. Cool. What? Who is? Why is there fire just blowing in? Ready yeah, again. level 24. What the what did heck? I tell you? Trap. Statue wasn't even real. Okay, well, right, Tosh. You yeah, were right. But if the fade is mostly reflections of something else, the real one could be close. But they, they, I assume they like intentionally put it there then. Why? Why is it raining fire? Who's doing that? Or is it like a memory? Maybe it's a memory of fire. Oh. Like a, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, maybe not, but I'll take that as an explanation. So that's why I was like, I was like that's the whole thing where I was like, this is not the spot where the thing is, is that it's over here? And yep, mm -hmm, yeah, yeah. You've got, oh, you've got to be kidding me, but apparently, apparently we should be okay. If I can get Solist face the correct way. I, I do not understand. I'm, am I supposed to go a different way? This way was like a dead end, I thought. Maybe that's why the fire is activated, because they're like, Oh, we built a bridge for you. Oh, there, there's a bridge over there. Why is there a bridge over there now? When did that come into being? Probably when I made this one next to me over there. Oh, hi. I see you. That guy's got... <laughs> he's got a friggin... Uh. Woo! He's got a flamethrower. Why does he have... What is that one? That one's fast. This is ridiculous. I need... I need you guys to do something about that. <sighs> Engraved okay. relic. Oh, okay. chakra to ever. I like that the way she. Um, oh, look at that. The way she speaks. Um, this, she's speaking Kuhn, right? She's speaking. Wait. Mm, oh, these are not just like paired off. She's speaking the cune, but it kind of sounds like uh, like somebody who's not, it's not their native language, you know? So I think that's really interesting. I like that. Shall we do something with this? Yep. Well, thank you. I, I was going to try to get out of the way before you blew it up all over me, but like, that's cool. I see, I didn't even see the Fenrir statue down there, but I did see this. Trickster Wolf. His narrative, a pantomime theater mask of Fenrir. His narrative role changes with the curse of perspective. He has as many faces as names. His arrival is as much profanity as prayer. Now we go to the Fenrir statue, which somebody told me what it did the other day, and I forgot again. Oh, it gives you a skill point. That's what it does if you do it correctly. I don't know. I know what they do. <laughs> I do. I know I did it once. <laughs> Can't. Hopefully, I'll find the next one. I hope. Oh, I guess I, I think I just gotta find its pair somehow. Yeah, I hear you howling away, wolf boy. Is the mythal statue up high? Or the... oh, okay. I'm like, where is this? Excuse me, goddess. I have to break things. You see that smile she does? I'm gonna have to get a photo mode photo of her doing that at some point. Why did these light up? Why? Why are they on fire now? What happened? I got it. Alright.
Was this like the corruption? I know we were looking at the corruption, but what is this now that I have somehow missed? Where is your memory at? I desire your memories, Dreadwolf. Oh, okay. The path over here. I'd say Whoa. that's where we're headed. Why? 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 Why so? Oh, okay. <laughs> it was just like here I am. I was like, why so angry about it? Oh, those are interesting owl statues that I haven't seen before. Oh, nice. Knock him them off. Good to go. Uh, please. Yeah, okay. Ooh. Sometimes it, it'll still bounce even if I miss the first one. It'll still bounce back to me from wherever it comes from. Wherever it goes. Yeah, I hear you howling, baby. Like... Oh, is this... Oh! Okay, so it unlocks the, uh... A little baby statue that we can pick up. That's good to know. Hopefully I remember that. Trevisan Poignard. <laughs> Trevisan Poignard. Mm. Ooh, grants me ultimate... Maybe I have to bring Lucanus back down. I will try to rotate. They, I just, I really like everybody mostly. Yeah, I mean, I like everybody, but I really like everybody more than I thought. You know, the only ones I'm not super into are Ballara and Harding, which I know is maybe like a weird take, but like I don't know, Harding was never like one that I was like. I desperately desire to get to know Harding more. You know. But I'm happy, I'm, again, I'm always happy for the people who got what they wanted, you know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, photo mode. Oh, it's, oh, is it just like re-fading in? Fading in. <laughs> <laughs> These are odd owl, if they are owl statues, they're odd ones. I've never seen them like that. This blue is beautiful, honestly. Like, this is my favorite style of Thunhurrell statue. It's the one that's howling. And, like, narrow. I would, I would use the... It was, like, the, the worry... Wow, oh, put my arm in front of my camera. The, the like, like along, like, the head and back, you know, is where it was, like, the worry stone when I carved one a long time ago. And only had it for a short time. But I only had solos for a short time, too. Ha-ha! <laughs> it was actually just... Ah, very fitting, honestly. Let's, let's save. I know it's auto saves pretty well, but. Oh, and I have, um. Points. At least a point. What all do I want? There was one that was like. Maximum rage. I would. I don't really. I don't think I max out the rage, though. I think there was one that was like. You, unless I already have it, that's like you will never go below fifty rage or something. Why? Why do they gatekeep grow boss with me into level like level thirty? Like I, I got level twenty. I got into the. I got into it. Let me just have it. Like this shield is sick, but like this one lets me have an extra bounce or an extra charge somehow. All right. You can tell this statuette is the real thing, a memory fragment, and not just because it was very well guarded. What, do I not get to walk through a memory? Are you serious? What? What? I did all that work. <laughs> I did all that work. And I don't even get to walk through a memory? That feels weird. Did I miss something? Well, that makes me upset. Well, I've asked about it in uh, in my Discord, so we'll see if anything comes of it. Oh, 
I do kind of like that the dots aren't just like, oh yeah, it's over here, and like it floats in the area where it's supposed to be, and you're like, wow, that's so cool, I have no idea how to get there. You know, which was kind of an issue in Inquisition, honestly, was that people, you'd like put a marker down, and it would show you it's over here, and you try to follow it in like a straight line, or straight-ish line, and you'd like reach like impassable barriers, right? And you're like... You're like, why are you doing this to me, you know? So, now, we don't have to do that anymore. Trouble coming our way. Uh, rather, the, uh, I like that the dot puts you like, oh, take this step, and then this step, and then this step, you know? Why? Oh, maybe it's behind, whatever it is is behind this? Okay. Okay, yeah, somehow, I don't know why this one's not showing up on the map as a requires a champion's essence thing, you know? Like, there's no, there's nothing here indicating to me that, and what champion I would need, you know, I can't even track it. Let's go back to, uh, what is it called? Docktown. If I do too many grits of the dread wolf all in a row, I'll be sad. Like, I want to go get it, but it's like, oh, do I want to get it this soon? And I'm not going to. I'm going to do this. I'm going to clear out what we have of Dogtown right now, and then maybe we'll come back for that. I do need to get up my, my strength for the long watch. What the hey hey? I guess with the crows, it helped that I, um saved the city yeah not that much though you really get penalized for letting Minrathis go oh the lost ages one is the next one to open up for Solus anyway okay that works out and we'll grab Nev and we'll bring Tosh hey I think you were right about his son's gut issues I got him okay. started eating carrots. He seems to have more energy. Good. He also crapped out some orange spore the size of a dinner plate in Emmerich's room. <laughs> nice! Good Griffin. <laughs> oh, that's... <laughs> you know, they have to have a balanced diet. And in the wild, they would get it from eating prey, like live prey that has, um... Like, like greens in it already, right? Like uh, plant material inside of it, and they would eat that while they're eating the animal, right? But, um, you don't get that in, what's it called? You don't get that from like steak, you know? Look at this. What a good squad. <laughs> Oops, I always forget. All right, we're back. Please don't be angry at me. I'd be hardened too, you know, though, like if my home was destroyed. Those guys with the sickle, Tash talks. Been trying to figure out what the Venator with the sickles are doing. They're fighting weird, swinging them almost like axes, but a sickle's blade doesn't face outward like an axe blade does. A sickle's blade faces down perpendicular to the handle. You'd swing it to, to chop down more or hook onto something if you're trying to catch hold and then climb. Or an expert would snap their wrist right back, back right as they connect it so that the blade twists along the point of impact. That's how you cut through stuff cleanly with a single slice. These guys are clearly trained, so why fight that way? update talked with nev it's because they aren't trying to get quick kills they're trying to make bleeding wounds the weapons are enchanted they use blood magic due to their fancy vanishing and jumping around tricks assholes okay so the this is the developers being like listen we know they're not wielding the scythes correctly but there's a reason Ooh, you know also i'm supposed to find little more little candle guys also you guys can't keep dropping Little, little lures on me every time I go into, into the area after I picked up the last set. Like, makes me feel like I'm missing stuff. There's a lot of guards at the merchant, you know? 
At a place where merchants are. You know, I just don't think Halos is getting really that special. You're joking. Halos makes the best fish in the city. He burns the fish, and it's got a metallic flavor. It's off-putting. That's just the fish <laughs> in Rathus. This tells me you've never nah. actually had good fish. Fish and mint grass, this tastes like metal because they're all full of metal poisoning. Ooh, is this something I can open now? I can't remember, but it's got like a yellow key, unless that means I have to open it from the other side. Oh, well. Why do I have the option to go up here when it, this is just the proper way? Like, why? Oh, I want to hear Nev and Tosh talk. I heard you fought a dragon in the yes! before I joined up. Yeah, the shadow dragons and I dealt with it while Rook and the others fought a second in Treviso. Though you could call it more surviving than fighting, we barely drove it off. But now we have a dragon hunter, so here's to better luck next time. That's what I'm here for. That's what I'm here for. Gosh, she looks so cool. How did they make her look so cool? She's like the coolest looking one in the game, and I'm so tiny. <sighs> I kind of miss Lucanus. We'll have to maybe bring Lucanus out next. This is, this is a guy who's the gone. He's gone. He Let's went missing. Around. See what we find. There was the husband that went missing, and nobody wants to say anything. Mm -hmm. I don't think we'll get any answers from him. Some names are circled while others are struck through. The final name on the list is circled. Extra tips here every fifth day. Octavian, unpaid tab, but good manners here when the ship's in. Martin, complains about partner, nasty tongue. Atticus, never regular, reliable otherwise. This is Linus. He must own the snake nest. And he knows Atticus. We're looking for someone named Atticus. Haven't seen anyone. He was meeting someone here. He disappeared. Yeah? People do that all over. Well, I'm still looking into it. I seen your time to your business. Interesting. I think there's I have like the cinematic setting on for cutscenes so that it like kind of fades out the edges. I think I might turn that off. Cause it, sometimes it messes up. I just don't like even when I'm taking photos like in the photo mode, I turn off the, the draw distance usually, you know? Yeah, we'll turn it off and see how that goes, because it's a little weird. It's a good thing we brought Nev, too, because uh, we need to find clues for what happened to a guy. What happened here? Oh. Murder happened. Requires storage key. Of course it does. I was not even looking because I just, there's blood everywhere, you know? So... Oh well, somebody's Blood. dead. There's a trail. Or several somebody's. Faded child's drawing, a scribbly drawing of a man, a boy, and a rabbit outside a building that looks like the snake nest bar. A rainbow is overhead. Aww. Also, who's, who's like drawing their dad or friend or whatever in a bar? Is this guy like chopped into pieces? Is that what I am seeing right now? I think this guy is chopped into pieces. Oh no, it's clothes? Is it? But there's a hand! Bloodstained shirt. No cuts in the material. The blood didn't belong to the owner. Uh, that's a hand. That is a bloody hand under there. Oh my gosh, they have little snakes in the lantern? That's really cute. What a weird... I, mean, I guess there's a door, but what a weird place to put a, uh, an abode. What a nice a bed, though. Can I take this stuff? And put it in my room. Oh, there's two beds. Child and an adult. 
Nothing helps. Oh, this is Linus Journal. Nothing helps. No one helps. Reggie, Reggie, my beautiful boy, he laughed at one of my stupid jokes and it hurt him. He can barely breathe and it's not getting any better. I would do anything for him. I just need to help. I'll do anything. I said I'd do anything, but I'm running out. Atticus was by last week. If he knew I needed help, he would show up, but I can't ask that of him. I can't, but Reggie, I asked for all of this. A sick kid. His father thought Atticus could help, but uh, something feels off. All right. That snake nest bartender must know something. We need to talk to her. Again. With more evidence this time. Tasklisk. Write up New Healer request. Get prominent spot on board in the central market. Payment to Krill. Inform staff of time away. Fix cloth rabbit for Reggie. Uh, there's demons. Oh, is he like... Did he like get somebody to like sacrifice to a demon, you know? The demon maybe was like, I'll save your kid if you give me somebody's heart. And he's like, okay. I mean, I can't blame him. What wouldn't you do if somebody you loved, you know, was a... Uh, especially a kid, you know? A man named Atticus came to the snake nest. We know he was headed here. But your boss, Linus, knows him. We've been to Linus's home. All right, it's the boss. He's been acting weird since the kid got sick. Urgent meetings, always checking the store. Right, she spilled so Put fast. In there, if you think you can mm. do something, I'll let you in. Perfect. I'll do what I can. It's across the road. Well, that was that made it, that was made it quite easy then with having Nev here. We are doing an investigation, so she backs us up. Is it cold in Bar here? storage. There has to be more here. Interact. Wow, it's almost like there's there's a secret room behind. <laughs> Not so secret room over here. That I can see, you know. Oh, an elevator with blood. This isn't even a secret room at all. Like, there's, it's open, right? I can see that there's a room back here. My goodness. Minus the storage. Now, storage must be kept neat, as neat as possible. Payments always made below. Keep floor here spotless. What are you trading in, like, bodies? Is he trading in organs? Is this an organ trading operation? Also, Nev and um, Tosh, their color scheme goes really well together. I like it. See, see, see? Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Slightly different blues, which is fine, but the vibes are there. Yeah, get on quick, guys. Let's go. I like that I waited for them, honestly. That was funny. All this under the bar storage? He might be farther in. Yeah, well, he's just probably where they were digging a cellar and saw like a deep roads entrance or something. How many bodies you keep down here? Crumpled task list. Send letter. Send Reggie to L for night. Seal away afterwards. Take other exit to leave. Curious starting to follow. Fix cloth rabbit for Reggie. Mm, this is not going to end well. There's going to be a dead kid at the end of it. Why? Why that? Also, apparently I'm supposed to drop down? Because there's... There's absolutely no way across. Okay. Ah! Ah! Dang it! Ooh! Bodies. Why body? Why so many bodies? Who are you sacrificing? And not even. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, did the guy hang himself? He had people chained here. Oh. Oh, yeah. Jeez. Oh. This is a ritual chamber if I've ever seen one. Oh my gosh. 
Like he had some bodies he didn't even use. The blood smeared page. The payments don't end. The demon repeats. Would you trade another's innocent blood for his? Maker, I said, yes, I'd do anything. And Reggie got better. It started with strangers, but I was running out. And Atticus, we were friends, and I still... Reggie, I'm sorry. I wasn't the man you needed. I didn't even fix the cloth rabbit, but I love you always, and I'll break this demon's ties to us. Linus, the snake nest owner, he made a pact with a demon to save his kid. But the price, it was too high. I'll follow up. Make sure the kid's still taken care of. There's a key. We should see what else is here. I, I mean, is the kid gonna die? Like, if the, does the demon, did the demon cure the kid, or did the demon just cure the kid temporarily while, and the requirement was for more sacrifices, you know? Child's drawing. A scribbly drawing of a man, a boy, and a rabbit on a sailboat. Why would you keep that in your ritual room? It's just gonna draw the demon's attention. This guy was like his setup was extravagant. What an key! Are you a? Is Atticus alive? Oh, he's dead. Stash of victims' belongings in engraved locket found with various discarded trinkets. Atticus plus Sabina. How many did he kill? All for a demon. This was Atticus. His locket, we can return it to Sabina. Why did he die in here? Like, what was the point of killing him in here? Also, where's the demon? Because I thought that... I always forget. I always, always forget to, to like, hear it and then, you know... And then move away. <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, are you... Oh, that beam did that? Okay. I believe that. Oh, hi. Are you gonna take me back outside? Because I have... I can take this over. Oh, I like this one. Let's put it. And the hat! The hat is so cute! I love it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Also, did you notice uh, the making friends with her is gonna be harder? Because she's hardened and she's trusting less? I wonder if you could try to romance somebody that you've hardened, which is a kind of funny phrase to say uh, out of context, but <laughs> you know what I mean? Be worth a try someday, maybe. Oh no! Okay. Well, hopefully the little little guy follows me through. Seeing my sleeve, I'm like, oh. There. Much steadier than the old one. There was what? There was no old one. What's this? I mean, it's an elven relic, obviously, but why is that here? For like was teleporting. The escaped. Sure was. What was it like? Strange, chaotic. <gasps> the stuff of nightmares that stick too long. She looks so it's good. messed up. Yeah. <laughs> Why? That's all? I thought these two would have great dialogue. Hey, Nev. Let me know if you need help on ladders. Ladders? Your leg... thing? One of the lords. Fenced. He lost a hand. Climbing ladders hurt his shoulder after. He told us eventually. Then we helped him on the ladders. Your foot's got a hook shape. It might get caught. My work leads strange places. If ladders have my number, I'd be out by now, but thanks for asking. Although, your horns have a hook shape. You worry about them getting caught? Shit, I do now. 
Okay, right, sorry about that. Had a phone call. Call every time I look at myself in the M7 armor. It's so good. Um, I don't. I'm like, e. I'm like torn. Also, what is, what? Does this portal go over to there? Why would that activate now? Instead of, the, oh. unless I missed it last time. Okay, hang on. Let me let me just let me just see where this goes. Also, why why aren't we talking about portal magic? We're like, ooh yeah, portal magic. And what? Where are we? We were in here, and we got in uh, here, which apparently has things for me to look at. Torn scroll, and when you are lost, apparently not. Yeah! Oh, this leads me, I was like, it looked like it led me down back into the basement again, because I remember this, but I don't really, I guess it's just a shortcut? How am I supposed to remember that this is here? Other ways to get into the catacombs. Well, there's other ways to get into the catacombs. The Lords of Fortune say that there's always a way in. The real mystery isn't getting in. It's what we'll run into this time. Um, I'm gonna, ooh. Well, why won't they put that on the, on the map? That I have portals, apparently, that go places. And that, I don't know where that portal goes. Okay, let's, we'll, we'll, go, we'll go look at it. I want to see what the zipline has. Oh yeah, this is exactly where I wanted to be. Cool. Uh, yeah. Hey, jump. Vance can help you if you ever need someone unlocked. Huh. I'll ask him if you want. He likes me. Sure he does. You're not bad to work with. I'm not. When you lose a limb, you have a metal leg or a hook for a hand, some things get harder. But you ask for help with one thing, and people think you can't do anything. That's Vashadam. No one can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with you in magic. Thanks for noticing. Not everyone does. Mm. Anyway, Bence doesn't have a hook. He's got a set of lockpicks. <laughs> no wonder Ladders get in trouble. Well, yeah, if he's actually using that. So, oh, yeah, um, while I was on the call with my sister. Um. Something sealed past here. The magic is strange. Solid! Whoa! Did I. Um, you know, yes, they had a conversation earlier right. about, um, where were we? Tosh helping her on ladders if she needed it. Why is there a cat down here? What a good kitty. Oh, pretty kitty with go black cat with gold eyes. Be very pretty. Uh, but yeah, no, it was nice. And she was just very matter of fact about it, you know? Tosh was. She was like, hey, if you need help, don't worry about it. You know, like, I'll help you out. Um, and so that led to this conversation, yeah. Venatory note, Zara released it back here. Leave it be, let Docktown know true desperation. Without mages in true control, that's all our city will ever know. I will save us from this soon enough. So she wants them to feel the desperation spirit, capital D. And then they'll be like, oh, what a hero, when she saves them. From the demon that she let wander around. There's a, I mean, this is just, like, what? Like, I just, like, what? Like, I thought there was just, like, ruins down here, but we had, like, whole promenades, palaces underground. What? Or this was above ground back in the day, and it just, like, fell, and I don't know, but this looks really cool. Gonna take a photo. Like, it's seeing the, the elk along, like, the, the, like, promenade or whatever it is, you know? I'm like, dang. Like, 
This is a whole city. You need like the crumbled elven statue, the Dirthamon statue up there. It's interesting. I think we only see for sure representations of Dirthamon, Fenerel, and Mythal, and Gilanon, but not June, Falandin, Elgarnan. Yeah. Not to my knowledge, anyway. Unless some of those screaming statues we're looking at was was somebody. I'm, if my theory is correct and all the other gods are dead, I'm actually kind of bummed out. Um, because I've always, like, I know that they're probably terrible, evil people, but I've always wanted to meet Falandin and Dirthamon, the twins. Um, simply because they're the ones that appeal to me the most. Dirthamon is the god of secrets and knowledge, and then Falandin is the god, like, the friend of the dead, you know? And their stories are interesting, like, their little lore stories. Um, and I've always been curious to know what they're actually about, you know what I mean? Like, were they actually twins? Like... Was he a friend of the dead, or did he just, you know, I don't know, make make the dead, you know? Was he, like, in, like the undead or something, and did, did him and Dirthamon actually get along? And, like, uh, what did Dirthamon exactly do, you know? Like, god of secrets and knowledge, but, like, you could get some really gnarly stories in with that. And if you have secrets and knowledge tied with death, as the two are, like, supposedly, you know what I mean? Like, what's their real story? Oh, okay, okay. Can I just blow that up? Is that, that is not, I'm pressing the wrong button. Have I been able to do that this whole time? Are there whole passages that I have ignored? <laughs> ah, I'm very upset. So apparently there's weird magic in here. Like just in general. It's probably in there, but I'm just looking around. Oh. No? Nothing? Dang it. Okay, well, at least one of them, or two of them, rather, blew up. Oh. Okay. Damp letter. Marisa. Holes dug in the side of the cavern. Footprints. A doll made of rags. Bones gnawed on. Campfire smoke. Burning cinnamon. Their calls are so close now. They're right behind the walls. Last letter. Out of writing material, but I'll be back soon. Burning cinnamon. Ooh, demon. That's the demon thing. Their calls are so close now. They're right behind the walls. Is the guy? This is the guy who is looking for the mother and child. Uh, well, he thinks the mother and child are in the walls. It's a demon. <laughs> hey, Nev. Benst also had a jeweler add some stones to his lockpick hand. Pretty gems and stuff. I can get you a name if you want. Why would I want gems on my leg? Because it's like a boot you wear every day. Might as well look nice. That's what I did after I broke my horn. And my horn will grow back. Oh. I work Minrathus. Put gems on my legs in the morning, and they'd be stolen by lunch. Besides, I like to keep a low profile when I'm hunting. Oh, sneaky. Makes sense. <laughs> She's like, I don't understand that, being covered in, like, you know, gems and gold and, and a really cool horn. So it'll grow back, too. That's interesting. I wasn't sure if the horns would grow back. Um, but I think hers is super fancy. Like, I think it's one of those, it, it's like a, it's a prosthetic that, um, like I was saying before, it's like, you don't have, if you're not going to worry about trying to make it blend in, you can make it as, like, intricate or, like, as, uh, unique as you want, right? Like, oh, shoot, shoot, blah, 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 blah. I was like, so, oh, what, did, what was I trying to say? I don't even know. Um, but is this just, did that? Zip line just lead me to where I've been. Oh, oh, I can, I can knock that one over. Okay, nice. Yee, please get on there. How far do the catacombs go? How'd that statue get there? They've been what? used to store food during war and blight. Kept Minrathus alive more than once, but that was never the whole story. There's secrets older than the city itself down here. Oh, that statue. Yeah, because it was part of Elvenon. Why does this thing have stuff growing on it? 
Okay, I was like getting ready to run, honestly. I was like, eh. Interesting. Just like the little roundabout ways we're getting the things. Demon? I'm waiting. Alright. This looks like it's probably going to be Grey Warden stuff. Oh no, okay. Let's see. I just want to see what it looks like. <gasps> more, more lore! Love it. If death is the only path before me, let my blood seal the path of those who follow. I leave one final curse for the spies on my heels. The spirit will claim the dead, and none will claim what lies with me. So, whoever, whoever died here, put it in here, and made it so that if anybody came in here, it would seal shut? Maybe? I guess? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with that. Ooh! Oh, I like these. Oh, again, it's the, like, the red, blue, and yellow is such a good look on her. Like, and I wasn't sure if it would be, because I think sometimes with red hair, you have to be careful with red. I don't know that for sure, but it feels like, you know, you'd have to be, maybe? I don't know, I don't have to be careful with brown, and I have brown hair. <laughs> it's gonna actually usually looks pretty good. Brown looks good on me. Um, so maybe not, but, like, maybe because it's so bright, it's like, uh, it's like, oh no, is it gonna be too much? But it really is pulling out, like, the autumnal colors, right? And the blue can be autumnal, too. There's, like, certain shades of blue that are very autumnal to me. Um, like an autumn sky type thing. I like it a lot. But today is in seven days, so... Or, I... That doesn't matter. What matters is the appearance. So today is in seven day, and I'll be wearing this. But I'll keep an eye on that one. I liked the look of it. All right, I think I will actually go ahead and call it here, because I've been recording for quite a while, so... Yeah, <laughs> we should probably get going. But thank you all for watching. I appreciate it really quick. I'm going to go cut away and say thank you to my patrons. All right, really quick. I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, including my Acorn tier patrons. Thank you so much, Fane, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to my sapling tier patrons, Reese Galito. Thank you so much. And Sebastian James. Thank you so much. I appreciate your guys' support. Uh, and I want to give an extra super special shout out to my forest tier patrons who have gone above and beyond in their support of me and the channel and who I truly, honestly cannot thank enough. So thank you, Christopher, so much for your support. And thank you so much, Nightshade, for your support. I appreciate you both very much. And thank you all again for watching. And I hope to see you in the next one.